I assume it's doctor and not. Oh yeah, yeah, do, yeah. I don't want to break that fourth agreement. Right, you get friend. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Psychiatrist. Um, human behavior, human sexuality, gender studies, everything. Top, top line, top of the line. Like the new generation of, which I'm sure all of that, all the schools that are doing gender studies and all that kind of thing, um, the shifting into it's a new world. Well, you also do groups. Tonight, the only two people in the group are these two. You also are, this is a support group also. This is something you do, it's part of your studies, it's part of the whole thing. We're not gonna talk about anything, you're gonna stay on script. That's just the frame, okay? Talk about behaviors, drugs, addiction, the whole thing. Very honest group. Let's see what we got. Hey. Hey. <laughs> do you guys have a moment to talk? Yeah, I'm just gonna have some water first. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> You're gonna have water as well. Oh, perfect, that's great. <laughs> so um, I guess I wanted to just start with, um, we were talking about last night. Um, do you remember anything from that? Well, I remember ending up at Carly's, but okay. that's, I remember that too. Okay, great, great. So, I'm gonna fill you in. Um, I'm not sure what, from what you do remember. It may ring some bells for you. But um, so last night um, you were drinking a lot of beers, and uh, you drink about half of it, put them down, go to other ones, knocking them down. Um, you continued to play some music very, very loudly. You turned your records all on, all your favorite music, and we were just blasting it. Um, it seemed like you were having a great time. But um, then, well, you ended up on the floor. <laughs> and you were popping peanuts out of your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> now, this was 45 minutes into hanging out. After that, <laughs> Uh, John had to come upstairs, and he was yelling at you and telling you to shut the fuck up. So he also threatened to cut all the strings on your guitar. Mm -hmm. But then you you yelled back, yeah, you at the top of your lungs that he was a fascist. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Not really. Okay. <laughs> so much summer. Uh, both Melody and Jocelyn have a quieter tone. Mm. Um, just keep your life force to come into the village. Keep one. And Jocelyn, both you and Summer have to get this approval. That's all the direction I'm giving you. Mm. Keep going. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> Well, then we text Carly, and uh, luckily she was nearby, so she was able to pick you up and take you home. <laughs> so. That's why we ended up at her house, I guess, but yes, you know, that's everything. That's for you. <laughs> 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 but, um, the rest. <laughs> but you see, you can't, you can't really just hide away at Carly's place and think that everything will just disappear and we'll just forget. See, but, like when that happens, I feel kind of like a rock star. Mm -hmm. And, you know. <laughs> Girl, you are a rock star. Right, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> like a rock star and you know <coughs> everyone's so boring and I'm just they're all stuck in this gender binary and I no, you don't even you don't have, have that sentiment of bad kid pick it up from I, everyone is so everyone's so boring and I, I just want to loosen things up and 
you know, like in those <clears throat> moments, I feel like a rock star. You know, at the center of the I'm like jamming out. It's and we get, <laughs> we get to be in another dimension. You know, we get to dream and envision Tim's girlfriend's tits and fucking her. And you've seen her And tits. all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, an amazing dimension that we get to enter. <laughs> you know, and it's, but, and it's, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. I'm sorry too. We're sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm you so see, sorry. You talk about this dimension, but then you also talk about how you haven't been happy for 10 years. So, what can you do to remedy that? Well, you know, ever since I met Jocelyn, the, I've had this little black pearl at the bottom of my soul. <laughs> you know, we've talked about it before, and, you know, sometimes, you know, I will talk about it at parties, and, you know, I'm trying to understand what it is, but in the meantime, I just want to, you know, stay in my dimension. <laughs> and, you know, Carly is someone who, I can head out at her place, and me and Jocelyn can go there together, and we don't have to worry about someone saying, we love you, we want you to stop. Mm -hmm. Carly just lets us go over, <laughs> hide out, put on her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Do you have anything that you'd like to add to that? <laughs> 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 That's fine. That's perfectly fine. It sounds to me like like you need help. <laughs> Why does everyone keep fucking telling you this? <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is that I can tell you is that we're here for you. We're here. You don't have to hide anywhere. We're actually here to embrace you. And you have that safe space, but you have to trust her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't make any promises to you. <laughs> you know, this pearl has been here. <laughs> I don't fucking understand it. What the fuck? I don't fucking know. Like, we go to parties, we have fun, our friends pick us up, we hide out. It's happened a few times. I'm sorry. Watch your phone. I'm sorry. She's sorry. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's happened ten times now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>